Every day, across the country, tons of spoiled, rotten or unappealing food is being thrown away. A myriad of approaches are some areas. At least 13 people have died. For Market to Market, I'm Paul Yeager. Almost half of all food produced in the U.S. is destined for landfills. The federal government is pushing the nation's entrepreneurs to cut food waste in half. A myriad of approaches are in play to tackle this burgeoning program problem. Currently, there are more than two million apps available for download. And as Tracy Brown of the Associated Press reports, one of them might be the answer to solving the problem. Every day, across the country, tons of spoiled, rotten or unappealing food is being thrown away. Decades of cheap, plentiful food have left Americans with a carefree attitude, and the consequences are piling up. Food waste is a staggering problem. We've got about 40% of the food that is provided in the United States is never eaten. Money that's literally been thrown away. If you're a family of four, you're wasting $1,500 of food every year, and it's roughly 10 cents of every American dollar spent on food. So we're talking big dollars. The Environmental Protection Agency says food produce is the single biggest source filling up American landfills. Last fall, the federal government kicking off a campaign to fight the massive waste with a goal of cutting it in half by 2030. And people are starting to take notice. In suburban Washington, the nonprofit group Nourish Now is seeing an uptick in food donations as well as increasing demands from food insecure people. Every day we get um, almost a thousand pounds of recovered food, all food that would typically get thrown out. So um, we're going to restaurants, catering companies, cafeterias, bakeries, any place that might have food waste, and we're diverting it from the landfill. In Chicago, the group Zero Percent turned to a high-tech solution to divert produce from the dumpster, using smartphones and drivers to connect food donors with recipients. So a supplier says we have 15 sandwiches that are available between 2 and 4 p.m. today. That goes into our system. Step one, it's matched with a need that has already been established in the community. A key factor in the staggering amount of waste is the confusion about expiration dates on food, leading too many to adopt. When in doubt, throw it out. Democratic lawmakers are proposing a federal bill to simplify food labels. To clarify and simplify and standardize the labels indicating dates on food so that people know what it means for there to be peak quality and what it means that food is unsafe to eat. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.